near the bowery eaves of Arden and the rolling Dunsmore Plain, to the Saxon town of Cofer's Tree, Leofric, Earl of Mercia, came. He declared that here upon this land he would build a monastery and turn this town into a thriving place in the year 1043. And his wife's name was Godiva, and she grieved to see the folk who worked so hard for their daily bread neath the cruel taxation yoke. She pleaded with her husband to let these people free. He said, ride this horse in your nakedness, and then I may agree. She rode a horse in her nakedness along the streets and ways, and the townsfolk kept their shutters closed and turned away their gaze. Some say that Tom peeped up just then and thereby lost his sight, but the people were freed from their burden and relinquished from their plight. And thus it grew over centuries, did this city Coventry. In the centre of all England, of all its history, its people have been witness to the world's unceasing change. When man fights man through ignorance, it is always born the strain. A stronghold in the civil war with battlements all around. A survivor of one November night when Hitler's bombs rain down. Now Godiva stands in frozen time as a statue in the square. But the skyline that surrounds her has changed from year to year. New spires on the horizon, new roads across the fields. How many of us living now remember her ideals? No. It's not the steel and concrete that make a city strong, but a spirit, a true spirit of community, of caring, of love and trust that keep it living on.